Here it does it. Here I am. Pretty? Yes. Here Gardening make me look fat. Hey guys, it's Brittany. So I'm really excited today because today is the day that we're starting to build our garden. And this is something that I've wanted since we moved into our house two and a half years ago. But today's, it's finally here. So last year I decided I was gonna start a garden but I thought I would start it from seeds. And what happened is I planted the seeds and they started to grow and then I kind of forgot about them like I do. And so they never made it into the ground and became a garden. So this year I decided I would buy um, plants that are already plants that you just put into a garden. So hopefully that'll go better for me this year. We are doing a raised bed. My husband is going to help me build that. And yeah, I'll show you what plants we got. And uh, I figured I would just take you guys along with me. I'll vlog about it if you're interested. So these are the plants we got. These are the plants we got. The first one we got is butternut squash. I don't know. I don't really have any recipes for that, but we'll see how that one goes. And then we got Roma tomatoes. Tomatoes are supposed to be pretty easy and who doesn't need tomatoes? And those look really pretty so far. So I'm confident about those. And then these are um, purple peppers because they didn't have any green or yellow bell peppers. So we're trying purple ones. Kind of sad. I'm hoping it'll come back to life a little bit. They didn't have a huge, huge selection of this. So these are blue lake green. And the last thing we got, which I don't know how will grow here, but are these um, strawberries. So I'm hoping those grow. That'll be nice. Our garden is going to be, we're going to do a four by four raised bed, like I said. Here's our shed and then there was a garden in that back area, but as you can see, it's all like gross and decrepit. So we're just starting new because that was there when we bought the house. Okay, so there's our house. There's our little dog. Just ignore how long our grass is because it's obnoxiously long because my husband is you know, a busy guy doesn't have cut in there. Oh, there's the scary neighbor dog. The first thing we're gonna do is um, dig out the grass in the four by four area so that the roots can grow as deep as they want. So that's what we're gonna do in just a camera. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? It's a grub. I don't know what that means, oh, but it's repulsive. Oh, where is it? I don't even know if the viewfinder can see it. Oh, there it is. Ah, ah, ha, ha. I don't think I should be making a garden. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So here's our hole all dug out. It's not perfect, but we did the best we could. But can I just show you guys how gross I am right now? Like, do most people get completely <laughs> covered in mud their entire body when building a garden? I don't know, I guess. So this is what it'll look like once it's all put together. Oop, well, you know, it'll be put together. Like this. Here's my husband working hard. Being a Mexican. <laughs> nice. How am I supposed to push and hold it? And that's part of what being a man is. What do you mean? I'm not a man. Oh. Brittany with power tools. Not so safe. So, let the man do it. I think I'm breaking it. Yeah, I think you are too. Alright, so here's our raised bed all screwed together. My husband is going to get spikes to put on the outside of each corner to make it more st sturdy, I guess, when we put all the dirt in there. So, yep, that's the next step. I'm taking a break with my coffee while he finishes cutting the spikes. Must be hard being a man. All the way down. This is hard work. Yeah, gardening's hard work. Duh. I thought gardening was like a ladylike thing to do. I am covered, like literally covered in dirt. How do people make it look so dainty and ladylike? That's good. You're not going to answer my question? No. YouTube viewers, how do you make gardening look so dainty? Comment down below and let me know how you do it because this is not very pretty. So we're bad dog parents and just discovered Ted wandered off because we just let him wander around without a leash. So now we're on a search and rescue mission. I don't think he'll be very far. He's never very far. No, he's literally just in the neighbor's front yard. So, yep, here he is. Right now. Go. There's Ted, coming out of the neighbor's. Ted, you troublemaker. Did you run away? I got the mallet taken away from me because I was doing a good job, but it was taking forever. Can you see? Okay, yeah, you can see. And then once we're done with that, we are going to fill it with these things over here. 
belt over there. Can you see? Okay, so we're just going to take, like I said, we've never done this, so who knows how you're actually supposed to do it, but we have some peat moss, some verliculite, some mushroom compost, and this is soil. just garden soil. Okay, so we're just going to start with one full bag of the garden soil. Awesome! Just going to dump it in, I guess. I don't really... Dump it in, spread it around. Oh, look at that. There's a sunburn color in that crappy gray. peat moss all over her because she doesn't listen when I say open the bag close to the box. Okay, I can barely function. This is not my fault. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I think it's very nice eating you. Yep. Is it all of it? No, about half. Probably be good. That's probably good. Okay. All right, so here's all the dirt in our raised bed. And now I think we're going to water it and put some plant food in it. And then we're going to start the planting. Woo, that's the fun part. So. We're getting pretty close, I think. Yep. Do I look pretty? Yes. Okay, so so far we just um, put this plant feed in there and mix it around, and now we are going to put our plants in the ground. So I think our plan is going to be to put the strawberries in the middle and then just um, one of the vegetables on each corner. And like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just the whole That's fine. Because this is only three peppers. If I put another pepper there and then I could finish the squash. Okay. It'll help you open, buddy. Sorry. It'll help you, I promise. So here is our little garden right here. In this corner is our um, Roma tomato patch. And then um, this four strip right here is our purple peppers. The one in the middle here is our strawberries. And then this row over here is the squash. So it's a little weird, it's a little uneven, but I think it's pretty looking pretty good for our first garden. So now all we're gonna do is water it and hope for the best. So yeah, wish us luck on our garden. Okay, so that is us building a garden. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me vlogging it. Let me know if you did. And if you have any gardening tips for me, I'd love to hear them. And I will, if you guys want to see later in the summer how our garden is growing, let me know and I'll be sure to show you guys. See you later.